Hello guys, welcome to Rivals Daily. I am your host Jack in the Middle. I would like to take this opportunity to invite you to go ahead and subscribe if you're new to the channel. I would also like to invite you to open the description of this video here. You will find a link to my other channel for live streaming only called Jack in the Middle Live. I would also like to invite you to go ahead and subscribe to that channel. All right, turf war is upon us. We are only about seven minutes away, I would say. Um, but we're still in here tuning the f the, a few cars that I actually want to be the main cars that I use for turf wars coming up. Um, so I do have, I believe the first turf war, verify, is B-class all-wheel drive. I do have an actual um, 1645 Subaru that I used some time ago, whether it was Showdown or Turf Wars. Um, but I wanted to up the game, go to 1650 at this point. Um, you know, but I might actually even go ahead and throw the 1645 in the lineup um, because it was a very fast bill. My thing against the 1645 is that the points that we are going to accumulate from Turf Wars are not going to be as good as I would get from a 1650 or higher lobby. So, um, so that's the point of moving up to the 1650 lobby is to get more points for you know the passes that you make in a car. So it is B-Class all-wheel drive, C-Class Honda Next, which we have a 1650 um, ready to go. Um, A-Class JDM, I have one car ready. Our second car is, that is in the works also. Um, something just off the top of my head I'm noticing with upgrading these cars. I'm at similar points upgrading the cars as far as adding parts and whatnot. And I realize the prices are similar. It's two different cars, the prices are similar and and um the, the lobby ratings i'm getting for the point i am in the bill are very similar so you have this here the subaru impreza double rx sti and uh, we are trying to take it to 1650 we have six upgrades going on right now i'm just trying to be patient so i don't overshoot it and, and uh you know go in the wrong direction with it um maybe i can fast track it but anyways so uh, it, it, it's it no part takes more than about an hour to go on totally so we won't we shouldn't be too far behind in turf waiting for this car to upgrade properly all right so 1644 let me jump over to the second car so here is our second car six parts going on 1644 rating so it's uh it's pretty cool i never really knew that really noticed that before that the cars are so similar this one one is a showroom car or, or a crate car it is in this case it's actually no longer available in the showroom so it is a vaulted car you guys might want to come in and pick up your performance crates and get a few of these cars um you know or one or two by this point before um they change out on sunday um but they are trust me very similar points in the upgrade process i don't want to delay the video too much um you know scuffling around in the in the garage um Okay, so speaking of delaying the video, what are we going to really do today if our cars are still being upgraded? And it's not turf war time yet. Um, what I plan to do for you guys, so cut away real quick. What we're going to do today, we are going to go out on track with our Ford Focus Titanium with the new updated corrected bill. Um, you guys saw... A uh, video, two videos ago, when I actually showed the Ford Focus build, so we um we found a little bit more parts, a little bit more weight reduction. So we just reduced the the car by uh, a pound, another pound of weight, which might certainly, definitely, with the power that's that is outputting and everything, it should definitely give us some more speed. So. We're going to go out on track with this for the remainder of the video. We're going to go out on in a 1650 lobby and just see what's going on in the 1650 lobby and go ahead and, and uh, pick up a few races for the remainder of this video. So we, we are, because in this um, for this car, we are actually world record chasing, which if I'm not mistaken, it is 9.7, like 1.3 for the, that, the current world record in this car if i'm not mistaken so we're gonna see if we could get this car the fastest we have gotten it is 9.7 like 9.8 so we are we are way up there we're like a, a, almost a hundredth 
points away, you know, point one hundredth of a point points away. But um, so I'll see you guys out on track without any further ado, and uh, we'll take some passes in the sixteen fifty. See what's going on in the sixteen fifty lobby. Okay, guys, breaking news. This just in. So we have uh, Racer Club is back with us. And let's see if there's any way I could get on any of these thing, things here. Um, Buick, Dom, Buick, <laughs> Buick, Dom's GNX. Right? It, okay, so it's Blueprints 105. So the only thing I have a chance of actually jumping on would be Roman's Challenger. Uh, yeah, that's what it's called, Dodge Romans Challenger, I hate the way they word it, 420 gems, that's going to be, but um, from my gem count here, that's, that's probably the only thing I have, I would be close to getting into, uh, well, if, if, I, if I had saved some gems, instead of opening all those bronze crates, I probably could have ended up with um, Dom's GNX, huh, 1200 crates, 1200 things, all right, well, yeah, but so it's gonna miss us. Maybe we'll get the charger. Let's see if there's any way we could actually look at it without crashing the game. No, it's it's our regular 70s challenger we actually have here in the game. We do have the 70s challenger, and it does look very much the same. I think maybe that little black stripe on the back here is a little bit different. Other than that, it is pretty much the same Dodge Challenger we have, and I'm sure it's going to probably be a little bit faster. Now, I might actually try to go for that, you know, because I do love the Dodge Challengers. All right, all right, so sorry for that delay, guys. I was, um, I was in the garage there doing some practice runs when, um, when that hit me. So, here it is, Turf War is finally here, and uh, we're gonna go out there on track okay um see you there no um i want to apologize there is no game sound and i probably could have been telling you this in a race or something but um i'm just uh apologize there's no game sound i guess i wanted to, you guys to see the track load up apologize and there's no game sound the house is chaotic very loud so the, you know for the chances um of me actually making a video and then getting a chance to dub over it with um with my sound afterwards is um is like very slim right now so um so i'm just you know, for the sake of bringing you guys a video i'm just going to be commenting as we go along and look right on time we have a challenger uh i was actually hoping it would be the the double rx for some reason <laughs> uh, for some reason these cars are hard to drive to their owners and um they end up being pretty much easy pickings but like, well let's see let's see what he is doing we're going no boost oh gosh guys all right so i've been working on the the launch for this car and the launch is pretty much i'm gonna see if we can grab this guy again the launch is pretty much before the first light it's um it's, but it would um it, it seems like it's as the first light come up it, it's uh it's real tricky so i don't know if i was launching it wrong or if that one part we changed kind of changed because cars are funny like that you could change a part and it completely changes the way the car drives especially in the transmission so let's see let's let's bump it against the light there you go so just that little bit change everything with the car I'm surprised double RXs are pretty fast, but the owners are owners of WRX have a hard time launching that car. I I know I own one. <laughs> All right, let's see what kind of time we get. Ten thirty-six. All right. So we're probably not going to get the world record tonight because we're not running boosted races tonight, and uh, the reason for that being is um just we just don't want to waste the boost you know so to speak so we, we have a rematch all right no problem best out of three we just don't want to waste the boost so i'm probably going to wait for another turf war something to come back around when we, when we use this car when, when we actually chase the world record epic fail my man so i think we're gonna have to jump the lobby find a new lobby 
so this guy doesn't um jump on us all day look at their reaction time what's well, not bad at all let's see what the final time says 10 6 5 it looks like it was worse than the last time though but all right guys i'll see you in a proper race we have a ford focus titanium here let's see if uh lucky or lucky stars there's nobody in the lobby but there's a ford focus titanium here so i said let's um See if we get a race. All right, we are boss with the launch right now. Point double oh one reaction time. So, so this is what we want to do. We want to get familiar with the car, get the car to this point where we are very confident with it. We get the car in sixteen forty six. I'm sorry, my man get the car 1014 no boost all right get to the car to a point where we can um you know when we can launch the car like uh basically what, 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 what's the what's the word am i trying to say guys get the car consistent all right so we want we want to become consistent with the car pretty much is what we're trying to do 